Good morning, students. Today we will be studying a very important part of speech, which is called a verb. A verb is a word or a combination of words that indicates action or a state of being or a condition. A verb is the part of a sentence that tells us what the subject performs. Verbs are the hearts of sentences. Let's look at the examples. Example, Mina walks in the morning. Walks would be the action taken by Mina. In other words, walk is the verb in the sentence. Another example is, Mike is going to school. Is going is a condition of action, which indicates the verb in the sentence. Verbs indicate physical actions. There are some sentences with verbs that express physical actions. Example would be, the doctor wrote the pres prescription. Wrote would be the verb in the sentence, expressing the physical activity to write. The second one is about expressing mental actions. While many verbs express physical actions, verbs can also express mental actions. For example, Peter guessed the right number. The word guessed is a verb. It expresses the mental activity to guess. The third one being expressing a state of being. A small but extremely important group of verbs do not express any activity at all. They rather express a state of being. The most important verb in this group is the verb to be. Let's look at the example. I was at the airport yesterday. Was would be the state of being. You were in the school last night. Were is also a state of being. Verbs, therefore, are words that describe an action or talk about something that happens. They can take many forms depending on their subjects, the time they refer to and other ideas we want to express. There are different types of verbs. They can be broadly classified into finite verbs and infinite verbs. Let's look at the different kinds of verbs. Finite verbs are the actual verbs which are the roots of sentences. It is a form of a verb that is performed by or refers to a subject and uses one of the 12 forms of tense and changes according to the number or person of the subject. The finite verb is, is again classified into three types, the main verb, the linking verb and the helping verb. Let's look at the linking verb. A linking verb adds details about the subject of a sentence. In its simplest form, it connects the subject and the complement, that is, the words that follow the linking verb. It creates a link between them instead of showing action. Now let's look at the non-finite verbs which include infinitive verbs, gerunds, and participles. Intransitive verbs do not act upon anything. They may be followed by an adjective, adverb, preposition, or another part of speech. While transitive verbs must have a direct object, a transitive verb demands something or someone to be acted upon. A linking verb adds details about the subject of a sentence. In its simplest form, it connects the subject and the complement, that is the verbs that follow the linking verb. It creates a link between them instead of showing action. Auxiliary verbs are also called helping verbs. An auxiliary verb extends the main verb by helping to show time, tense and possibility. The auxiliary verbs are 
be verbs have and do a modal verb is a kind of an auxiliary verb it assists the main verb to indicate possibility potentiality ability permission expectation and obligation examples would be may should might shall etc therefore the, the presence of verbs in sentences makes it very elaborate talking about how an action takes place and what action the subject performs thank you so much